You know, I would have to say that my moods are consistently aggressive. I'm, uh, I'm aggressive in business. I'm aggressive uh, probably with everything that I do with my training. It makes me good at being a competitor. And uh, I'm aggressive in bed, too. I feel sexy when I'm in great shape. I feel sexy when I'm dressed up, going out in a mini skirt, high heel shoes. And I feel sexy when I'm home with no makeup on, a t-shirt, maybe nothing, bare. Sexy is an attitude. It's, um, it's, it's about confidence. And uh, in other people, confidence is the sexiest thing to me. That's a turn on. A lot of things make me feel sexy. I think it's just because uh, I understand that my sex is my power. Working out and uh, developing my body has always been a, a hobby that was also very therapeutic for me. Uh, working out allows me to be really aggressive and uh, pushing weight and training hard and sweating uh, has always allowed me to um, have a place to let off steam and at the same time develop my body and get more in touch with my body, get, um, you know, endorphins flowing. It's sort of like a natural high. Um, the confidence that I've gotten because of the developmental process and working out has been tremendous and it's affected my entire life. It's affected how I handle business. Um, and it's interesting because I use the development of my body when I you know, go to business meetings. And it's, uh, it's kind of fun to see how disarming somebody who's physically built like I am can be and um, it's been fun to develop my body and use it in a couple different ways. It's an incredible tool and um, it's been incredibly empowering learning how to develop my body, develop my mind and use them together. You know, a lot of people go through their lives and um, they're not physically fit, and they're not physical. And I think they're missing something. They don't have a connection with their body. They don't have a certain sensory. And uh, you heighten your experiences when you're really in touch with your body. People have come a long way over the last five years. I'm not going to give it more than that. With how they look at women with muscle, with how they look at women as athletes. And we've made a lot of progress socially. Women's bodybuilding, I, I, you know, I don't know how vast the acceptance is ever going to really be because it's such a specialized look. It's an extreme look and it, it caters to more fetishistic interest than sort of like a cult following. How big the fan base for women's bodybuilding will ultimately grow, I don't know. I think it's growing because people are more accepting of women as athletes of women as powerful, physical, emotional people. And that's a good thing. I hope that the fan base for women's bodybuilding grows exponentially because I think there's a tremendous amount of beauty and power and people, people need to recognize that more. I, I love looking at a well-developed muscular physique on a woman. I think it's incredible. Um, It's, you know, it's the hourglass that we always expected to see in our women. Except it's a tight, toned, developed hourglass. You know, the shoulders are broad, the waist is small, you know, the legs flare out. It's an hourglass, only it's tight and it's toned. So it's just as voluptuous, only it feels better. And it's just as sensual if not more. And uh, I love it. I love the look 
of a, of a tight abdominals, leg, hamstring, watching how the musculature, the skeletal mus musculature feeds and you know, goes from one part of the body to the other is incredible. It's absolutely, I'm feeling it. It's like your, you know, your body, your muscles are alive. You work out and you fill them with blood and you feel them contract and um, it's a sensibility that it's, in, it's incredible. The look is awesome. You know, there's, there's potential for being too muscular or losing a sense of certain amount of femininity on a woman's physique. Um, that's true. But for the most part, the way I see women bodybuilders is, is uh, you know, a newer hourglass standard, just tight toned and I love the way it looks and I love the way it feels. Being involved with bodybuilding and female bodybuilders and promoting them and taking pictures and the erotic side of the sport that we've developed has great things for me because I've met extraordinary women and um, I've got to do a lot of things that I probably never would have done had I not been involved with the sports of this magnitude. And it's been an incredible ride. Um, getting involved with these women has been an incredible, sexy, erotic journey. And uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the ride.